this is LK with Dozo Plays and today we are checking out this secret island and not only is it a secret island um, with different chests and stuff there also is a secret quest line there so we're gonna kind of walk you through all of that today so there is a teleporter right here we're actually going to go to Starfell Valley in Mondstadt and then you just run out to the little peak there and we're gonna need Kaya for this as we are going to make our own path to this island so this does take quite a while I think it's about eight minutes all the way there if you're doing it solo it is a little faster to have two people kind of building the bridge across the water, uh, but just be aware that they won't be able to open it in the chests or do the quest line in your world. So you do get this achievement just by stepping on the island. And if you pop over to the left, right when you arrive, there will be an exquisite chest right there for you to open. Next, if you pop a little bit behind where that one was, there is this mining spot. Um, but when you hit it, it, there is actually another exquisite chest there as well. The next chest is just going to be a common chest, but it is just on the left side of the sundial there. And on the right hand side of the beach, there will be this little abandoned tent with a bunch of things to investigate, giving you some mora and some iron chunks and a pocket watch. So if you have a venti, getting the animoculus is super easy. You just create a wind current here and then pop over and grab it. If not, What's the um, you can grab the little wind spirals to create one. Um, and the precious chest is just gonna be hidden down here um, by where you grab the animoculus. Now it's time for the quest walkthrough. And I didn't even know that this quest was here um, unless you use your special site. So you will need a wind character for this. And if you went up to the sundial, you might have noticed this little message here. But it kind of mentions that there is some kind of secret here. And that's what we're going to walk you through next. So if you just head over to the right of the sundial, you will notice this large breakable rock. Kind of by where the abandoned tent was. So smash this bad boy open and you will find this ragged notebook. Um, if you read the notebook, it will explain that between the time of 2 and 5 a.m., um, there is a strange feeling. So that is going to kind of work into our next steps here. So that's exactly what we're going to do next. We're going to open up the menu and on the left hand sidebar, there is a time setting and we are just going to pop that to two o'clock. So the island gets a little bit different between two and five and this actually goes very fast in a real time. So you may have to set it back to two o'clock um, more than once. Paymon will let you know as seen here when the time has passed and you need to reset. Be advised that these room guards will become active during that 2 to 5 a.m. mark. Um, but both of the ones that I killed did drop a chaos circuit, which was kind of sweet. So I popped over to this rock here and did my palm vortex and Paymon pops up saying it seems that the wind can easily be scattered here which also starts this quest here time and the wind so the first cluster of wind that we will need to disperse is just on this pillar here and you will need both kaya and a wind character in order to get this one First off, just get Kaya to make a path for you to stand on and then get your wind character to disperse the cluster of wind. The next one is just going to be located behind the sundial, kind of where you floated up to get the Animoculus. 
So same thing, just use your wind move again to disperse the cluster of wind. And the last one is going to be right on top of that pillar there, just to the right of the sundial. So just pop on up there and disperse the last one. This then triggers the Eye of the Storm fight in the center there. We are just going to use our Palm Vortex one more time on this guy to engage. Then it is butt kicking time. Um, just be advised that this boss does hurt a little bit um, if you get hit by any of his moves as you kind of see in there. After you get him to about a quarter health, um, you will get a cutscene pop up and you're just going to follow this Eye of the Storm using the wind currents provided. We are just going to pop on up and pursue the Eye of the Storm all the way back to the Thousand Winds Temple. Now that you've made it back to the mainland, we are just going to pop down uh, where this group of enemies is right here. As you can see, as we get a little closer, there is another sundial here which is going to finish up the quest here really quick. After you are done dealing with enemies, you can talk to Henry here, um, just getting some more info about the Eye of the Storm. Pop over to his little tent and grab the book there, and then we are going to start up the battle once again. And we're going to do this by, again, just popping the time back to 2 a.m. Using your sight, you can see that there are some of these wind deposits that will need to be scattered again. Doing so, each will spawn a cluster of slimes that will need to be dealt with. And the last one you will see is the boss that you can finally finish off now. Um, do make sure you are prepared for this fight and your team is set up properly. Um, because he will be summoning slimes and other adds to the battle with him and it does make it a little bit more challenging. And that is pretty much it for this walkthrough. You go and talk to Henry one more time to wrap up the quest after you have dealt with the Eye of the Storm, giving you the achievement, nothing to lose but time. Hopefully you guys found this walkthrough useful and helpful, guys. Um, if you did, make sure to give us a big thumbs up. And you're always more than welcome to subscribe. We will be coming out with lots more Genshin Impact um, content. And we hope to see you guys in the next video. Until then, take care.